My name is Madeline Botello. I'm doing my IOP over uh, the existentialism and the metamorphosis. What I'm doing. Uh, the work that I'm studying is The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. My aspect is existentialism, qu qualities, and the setting, characters, and, and the identity and humanity in the story. My thesis is how does existential qualities revolve around the ideal of humanity and identity, the characters, and the setting of the metamorphosis. So technically, I drew three drawings one of a woman in fur, the next um, Greta's violin, and then a story setting of the existentialism. I also designed a model uh, that concludes of, um, the existentialism inside the characters, whereas um, Gregor is the beetle in the middle and the butterflies represent the other characters in the novella. Existentialism is a philosophy, theory, or approach that emphasizes the existence of the individual person as a free and responsible agent determining their own development through acts of free will. Human free will, human nature, is chosen through life or of choices. There are things that are not rational. Worldly desire is futile. Society is unnatural and its traditional religious and secular rules are arbitrary. Des decisions are not without stress and consequences. A person is best when they're in their own individual nature fighting for their life. This is a representation of existentialism. You don't want to see it as a core, like where individuality is a core and it just builds out. You want to see it as a whole, as a core, as one side is freedom, the other is passions and individual, and it's just seen as a whole. Existence before essence is one of the points in existentialism that I think that refers inside the metamorphosis, where thus life has no inherent value, the value or meaning is determined through existence. Hence, Gregor, each of us have unique experiences, which is Gregor's experience as transforming into a bug. A person is the sum total of his actions in life. Uh, Gregor's actions of not going out in this life, he's being antisocial, he's not interacting with other human beings, he's just in the world full of, his own world full of isolation. And you are what you are at any given moment, where he accepts being a, a beetle. He just rolls along with it, if he turns back into a human, he turns back, if he stays that as a beetle, he stays. Then, meaning is created by people's actions and interpretations of the world around them, and not by intentions, which is basically another thing of Gregor, of him turning into a beetle. His, his actions, his isolation is what turned him into a beetle. He, he didn't become a rat or anything else. He became a beetle because a, pe a beetle, as you see it, you don't see it as a pet. You see it, you don't see it as a dog or a cat. You just see it as, um, a, a, like, you don't even think of, a, of having feelings. You don't have any emotional repentance, if you kill a, a bug or beetle, you just see it as something off of the world. And the existentialism highlights in the metamorphosis. Gregor ex exemplifies existentialism through his ignorance of human needs, his persistent unhappiness and the denial of his insect state. Weirdly, it was only after Gregor Gregor's transformation into a bug that his family begins to be proud of what they do and get jobs. This is where Gregor turns into a beetle. He has, he, he, he can't work because he's a beetle, of course. So his family actually, instead of being lazy and around the house and letting Gregor um, take care of the household, he, he, they go out and they actually do something with their lives while Gregor's a beetle. Then the idea of the plot in Gregor's whole life is revolved around the philosophy theory of existentialism. The way he worked his whole entire life to maintain his whole family then evidently becomes a beetle. Existentialism is like you, a person asks you to go hang out to a party to have some fun. And they're like, what's the point? We're all gonna die anyways. That's how I view existentialism and that's the way that you could view existentialism. And
and other connections. The existentialism in the story pipeline is how he made himself into a beetle from his lifestyle, as he works as a boring plain salesman still. As he limited himself to, to, the, to this point, even though he isn't good at his job, or at the end, his family turns ungrateful. So he's doing all this for his family. And even, and even though his family can go out and get a job also and help maintain this family instead of just leaving him on his own, doing everything, and also trying to save up money to send Graydon to the music school. Um, and then uh, at the end, um, they kind of just blame it on him and they think like they have no wrong actions towards them, even though they're making him do all this and they turn out ungrateful for him becoming a beetle. Then he surrounds himself with isolation as he ignores the human need for human interaction and he allowed himself to become an exit, an insect because of that. Now the creative aspect of my um, IOP. The woman in fur, which is this lovely beautiful lady. Um, the portrait of the woman in fur is a symbol of Gregor's humanity. Gregor's room is all but a narrow, narrow prison wall walls of his consciousness. While his mother and sister came into his room and started to strip his room away from his personal belongings. So he decided it was, it, it was his right to save the one thing he physically could. The picture gave him a sense of his old life and how he could possibly return of his older life, similar to his mother as, uh, as she started to move the, remove the stuff so he could move about. So uh, Gregor as a beetle, he climbed on top of this beetle, saving it so his mother wouldn't grab it by her disgust of him being a beetle. As that quotation on the far right corner, he sat unyielding on his picture. He would rather jump at Greta's face. That means uh, he, he loves Greta at this point still. He, he was still hoping that t uh, to um, take, take her to, so she can go to a music school, but that picture was so important to him that he would jump at his sister's face then letting her take that that symbol of his identity, his humanity, in the real world, world from him. And these are the quotes that resemble to the woman in firm. Um, this was when they started em 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 emptying the room and um, he and the narrator talked now they threaten, threaten as like, like he felt like, like they they were purposely taking this away from him. Like they want him to be as a bug forever, and how he doesn't want to change. He still believes he could go back into a human. The second one is um, um, where Gregor realizes the lack of any direct human communication about his life um, during these two months. Um, and it's basically more about him, them emptying his room. The third one is, and this is when the woman went out, and then this is the exact moment where he, he, he covers, he's on top of the picture of the woman in fur, and, um, and then they come in, and then uh, he scares them. So, the whole meaning of the woman in fur was the existentialism in this, in this identity, his humanity, and existentialism, because he he has no real humanity or identity now. He's just some bug. Like when we see bugs, we don't name them. Like oh, that's Sam, and that's Joe. You know, hey. So, uh, but but this actually gives them like the bug that loved this portrait, the bug that that love the woman in fur. Next is the existentialism in Greta's violin. Presented right here. This is also a symbol of the, the, the humanity and identity and the existentialism in Gregor's life. We all know that um, Greta loves pain play the violin, and she could possibly be a really talented violinist if she ever got the right practice. So without any of them knowing, he, he was gonna, that Christmas, he was going to present um, um, and announce that he was gonna, uh, he's gonna pay for Greta to go to the music school. And if, uh, but he never got to do that because his transformation um, prevented that. So 
it, so the violin is presented through the whole uh, novella, as we see. Uh, the drawing is a, uh, it becomes a constant reminder of him. You see, it, you see him bring it up when, when he, he, announced, he was talking about how he's gonna announce uh, she was gonna go to the school. And then when the three tenants uh, moved in and they asked for her to play the violin and, and this, this, the violin actually makes a huge scene inside of uh, the tenants and, and Gregor as they, they realize that there's a creature living right next to them. And um, and the second excerpt is also about the tenants on the dual and unappreciated work was saying, um, and, um, and uh, so he was gonna uh, let Greta go to the music music school. That gives her an idea of independence, of, of her going out in the world and challenging this, this bump in the road. And, and he, he sees it as something possible. He, but then of him trying to send her somewhere and providing um, stuff for her, this switches when he turns into a, a beetle as his role becomes her role as she's the one feeding him. She's the one who's actually uh, um, doing things for him, and where she becomes his, her, where she becomes his personal servant instead of him being all of this. And these are the quotes that um, relate to this. Where um, this is when she started uh, to play the violin, and and this is um, where um, he started talking and. The narrator started talking about Gregor and the violin. The second one is is how 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 he only remained close to his sister now, and uh, kind of like the transition of them switching places of being the personal servant. And the third one is how how um, how he was he was mad like when she was playing her violin to the three tenants and they were just being rude and disrespectful and just smoking their cigars and 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 like acting like she wasn't all that good and, and of course she's a young girl playing a violin. She's not gonna have that much experience, especially not going to a music school. Um the connect connections. Um Okay, this is the existentialism in the setting. Um, we see the world, the, um, the whole city line, and the block, and then his room. This represents how his, his personal uh, feeling is not revolved of everyone else's. And um, um, the drawing concludes the existentialism of how Gregor's transformation gives him a new definition of meaningless. And as his situation isn't everyone's problem, hence his family letting him suffer and die. Um, um, that the world doesn't stop for simple problems like his, creating a visual image that you are one little thing in the entire world, that no matter what happens, day will become night and night will become day and the world will carry on as usual. No one cares about. And these are um, 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 co quotations about the settings and how he was in this room and how it transforms into everything else. Then the existentialism in the characters. As you, you see in my model, there's a beetle placed in the middle and the character swirling around him. As you can imagine, as the, f the first a butterfly being the beginning and the end, as it transitions, all the characters go out of his life. And um, in each little butterfly, there's the name of the characters and it just, and as they're going in the circle, it's going, it's revolving around him, and he's in the middle, but he's the outcast in this, in this point. And then this is more explanation, like in detail about the tenants, the three men, they're de they're demanding, they're pretentious, they're cleaning together, looking at each other for answers, opposite of Gregor, but yet at the end they adapt to Gregor and everything, so. This is a little thing of their existence. And then the charwoman, she actually 
has a little bit more personality. She she treats Gregor with familiar familiarity that he likes from his own family that gives him a sense of identity. These are quotes of each of them, um, how they uh, revolve around Gregor and their existentialism parts. The sense of family, the father stepped up to his role after the incident. He continuously wears the uniform as if it were to stand guard as he was willing to hurt Gregor. And the mother sees it as a ca catastrophe. Greta, she took Gregor for granted, and at the end, she just ended up backstabbing him, saying that they should go, and they have they have no role in this. Like, um, like, um, um, and she was she became filled with disgust, and she was like, I can't handle this more. We should just leave. Um, we did the best that we could. Yay, let's go. And these are the quotations. Then the con and conclusion of all this. Um, um, is that no matter what happens in this novella and after everything that goes through, there's real, all, his life became just a meaningless thing. He worked so hard and tried to get his sister up front, but he ended up, uh, that ended up backfiring on him, him turning into a beetle, he becoming nothing. And, and then at the end, his family just ended up leaving him and letting him die and being carelessly for him. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.